Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to go over this new uh, steel MS661 chainsaw that we got the other day. Uh, in my past video, I did a review of the MS362, and we had purchased two of those. And uh, we're going to go ahead and keep one and sell the other. Now, the reason uh, that we're doing this is because uh, we needed a bigger saw. Uh, to cut some larger trees. The saw originally came with a 36 inch bar, uh, but we traded it and stepped down to the uh, 30 inch. And uh, the reason for that is we also got a little chainsaw mill uh, to cut some uh, slabs and stuff for, for uh, tables and shelves. And that's the reason, another reason we went with this bigger saw. We had a it's just a little bitty mill you set up on a, a log and I'll do a video of how it works but it's kind of cool and uh, we had the 362 on it to do some smaller logs to make some little uh, shells to hang on the wall but it just wouldn't cut it uh, it was really slow and take a chance of burning it up since it's a smaller saw so we ended up and got this saw and it just cuts right through it no problem no issues and uh, so far we've cut a couple big trees with it and it's just a great saw to use it's I mean I like the 362 but this thing it doesn't even compare to what this does this thing has no uh, lag in it it doesn't bog down at all uh, when you're cutting uh, when we were cutting the trees I got the uh, 25 inch bar that I run on it uh, for that, but we'll use this 30 inch bar for the uh, little chainsaw mill. So some of the features on it, uh, it's a newer model, so it has the uh, Mtronics in it. It's uh, the Magnum series. Um, it's uh, definitely a pro saw, so it's all you know magnesium uh, frame and, and side cover, made in Germany. Put the uh, bolts in it that are uh, built to the cover so they don't fall out. It's got uh, extra large felling dogs. Now I had to add these to my other saw, but this one comes factory uh, with these on it. And it's also got a little chain catch here uh, on the bottom little roller. It's got the uh, Pro Series chain sprocket instead of the old little two style it's got this one uh, easy twist open air filter twist it the right way um, it's got a big large air filter in it so you get more service out of it again it's the automotive type style that they use instead of the little um, paper ones or whatever you want to call them in the uh, smaller saws and these are definitely a lot better and you can reuse these and clean them um, it's got uh, the decompression valve up top and the MS261 has that don't really need it on that saw but definitely handy on this it's got the uh, steel elasto start so the uh, pull rope's got a little bit of give to it so when it kicks back when you're starting it it doesn't jerk your arm as bad um, but again this is the uh, Mtronic version so it's got the uh, auto adjusting carburetor in it it's pretty nice some people don't like it um, but I really I really like it. It seems to give the saw a little bit more power and you're not having to fine tune it for the weather condition uh, based on that day to get the most power out of your saw. It just does it automatically. And uh, some people say they've had some issues, but we have ran the uh, 362 and the uh, 261 or and they're both Mtronic saws and had zero issue with them. We've been running them for about, oh, I'd say three months now with no problems at all. So uh, they seem to work pretty good. The saw 
says it's a seven horsepower uh, saw. It has the uh, they claim it has the best power to weight ratio on it. Uh, it is kind of heavy. I think the manual says it weighs almost 13 or 14 pounds as to the uh, 362. I think it weighed like eight pounds. I'm, I'm not for sure. I'd have to look again, but I don't know. It's not as bad as you'd think it was with the what the size of the saw it is, it's not as heavy as you'd expect it to be. Um, but it's got the, uh, like most of them, the uh, winter operation uh, tab down here. Uh, if it's below, they say if it's below 50 degrees and you want to put it in uh, winter operation mode, which is what I just got it in now because it's winter here. As you can see right here, it's got the uh, snowflake. For the bottom and then for the summer I think it's set above 70 degrees if you don't run it up here and you and you keep it down here when it's that warm you can overheat your saw so you want to make sure you remove it and put it back up there if you switch it uh, before summer so I'll uh, get the bar put back on and start it up and show you guys what it's like when it cuts some wood but before we do that, there's a couple other features um, that I didn't mention. And it's the uh, adjustable automatic oiler on the side, the toolless fuel caps, and the uh, new steel anti-vibration system. And uh, also, uh, the displacement of this chainsaw is a 5.56 cubic inch with a 7.2 horsepower and a weight of 16.3 pounds. Uh, it holds 825 cc's of fuel, uh, holds 360 cc's of uh, bar oil. I'm gonna go down here in the pasture, see if I can find a log to cut. guys what this thing runs like it is the uh, second biggest chainsaw that still makes the biggest one they make is the uh, 880 so this is the one below that one it costs around we paid twelve hundred dollars for this one pretty pricey makes it work a lot faster.
pecan tree stump that I uh, just cut off with the uh, 661. Took me less than four minutes to cut all the way through it. Uh, blew down in a storm a couple years ago and I've been meaning to cut the stump off so I can brush hog through here and uh, cut it no problem. It's a pretty good sized tree. You definitely want some sort of hearing protection when you run this saw because it's pretty loud. There it is, that's the uh, MS661 Mtronic uh, chainsaw from steel. Uh, I definitely recommend it if you're gonna be cutting large trees like this, because it saves a lot of time and it's a lot faster, so. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook, 4M Ranch, and on Instagram, at Eric Motter, and I'll see you on the next one.